what an absolute joke. What an absolute joke this was. And, and what an absolute joke this team is right now. I mean, this is probably going to make two out of the three, the two out of the last three years, that the reason this team does not make the playoffs or make a run is because of a loss to the Jaguars. Three straight years we've lost to the Jaguars. That right there alone is embarrassing as a fan. Absolutely embarrassing. If you don't remember, just two years ago, this team lost a tiebreaker to, uh, to make the playoffs. They did not make the playoffs due to a tiebreaker. If they beat the Jaguars that season, they make the playoffs. But no, they lost to the Jaguars. Last season, they lose to the Jaguars. This season, we look like we have momentum and down, we have the schedule down the stretch to be able to make a run for the playoffs. And we, we crap the bed once again and we lose to the Jaguars. I mean, that that's it's ridiculous, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. If we win this game, we're one game out of first place. And we have a shot to play the Colts to tie the division lead on Thursday night. But we don't. We lost to the Jaguars. We might not win a game the rest of the season. This was an absolute pathetic performance. Absolutely pathetic. And you know now, Jake Locker is probably out for the season on a play where he didn't even get hit. I, I love Jake Locker. I, I think he's, if healthy, he's the, the quarterback that can give our a team a run of the playoffs, but he's not healthy. You got to take that into account, and maybe, just maybe, this shows that we need to try to move on from Jake Locker. Not because, I think, I, I really like Jake Locker. He's my favorite player on the team, but he can't stay healthy, and we can't keep investing all this time uh, into Jake Locker, and he's, he's just never going to be healthy, obviously. I know it's only two, year, two years, but in football, in today's day of age, you have to win now, and when your quarterback's constantly hurt, you you cannot do that. So I would not I would not be against drafting a quarterback in the first round, or at worst a second round next year to at least compete for the starting job. And if he's good enough, uh, give him the job. I mean, we we have to find consistent play at the quarterback position. And when Jake Locker plays, I mean, you gotta remember he wasn't even looking that great today. He threw a pick. He was looking pretty bad. And he gets hurt. He's probably out for the season on a play that he just handed the ball off. It's it's got about just it's about just rid, ridiculous. Um, it's 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 ridiculous. And Mike Munchak, see ya, see ya. I could not stand seeing this guy on our sidelines. I have never been a fan of Mike Munchak, and I try to give him some leeway here and there, but he is not a good head coach. He is not. He uh, he. I would never like him, I never will, and he's just not a good NFL head coach. Offensive line coach, yeah, he's a he's a, a heck of an offensive line coach. Is he a good head coach? No. If he fields a team that consistently loses to the Jacksonville Jaguars that has playoff talent, no, you're not a good head coach. And maybe if there's one positive out of this, it might be the fact that this could lead to uh firing of Mike Munchak and the coaching staff, and I just think we have the players, the, the the talented roster that looks like a playoff roster. But if you don't have the coaching to get the best out of each player every day, heck, man, it's it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, and it's obviously shown that Mike Munchak's not gonna work. Um, yes, the first year he almost made the playoffs, but you know what? He he did a horrible coaching job against the Jacksonville Jaguars, and that's what kept us out of the playoffs. Last year, we just did absolutely horrible pretty much all the season and um, the whole season and lost to the Jaguars. And this season, we looked like we were about to go on a run and had the possibility to take take uh, take uh, top place in the division and we lose to the Jaguars. It's a winless Jaguars team we lost to at home. At home. God, ridiculous. And... No confidence whatsoever in Ron Fitzpatrick. I would not be surprised if we go and lose every game the rest of the season. It's it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. With the team that we have, it's unacceptable. And I think Mike Munchak needs to be gone. He needs to be gone. Just absolute horrible. This game was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And yes, Ron Fitzpatrick has the ability to be a good quarterback. You saw that today. You saw it. But then 
you can't have a quarter that consistently loses the game for you with turnovers. Turnovers is so huge. Four turnovers today. That's the reason we lost the game. And the fact that Chance Warmack Holt held in the in the he held in the end zone. And um that gave us the the safety, which pretty much was the it was the difference in the game, that safety. So the team is just finding ways to lose and it's it's ridiculous. The fact that I had the mindset that this was an easy win and we had and the Colts got absolutely obliterated today. <clears throat> If we win this game, we have the shot to play for first place or a top for first place. We play the Colts two out of the next three weeks, and we could take a hold of this division. And no, no way now, absolutely no way, we take a hold of this division um, with Ron Fitzpatrick at quarterback. So I think it's just, I know it might be a, a knee jerk reaction, but there's no way this team's going to do anything. It's constantly just underperforming, and it's, it's, that's the coaching staff, and they, they, they need to be gone. It, it's horrible. And uh, I hope they do something about it. I really do, and it's really embarrassing as a fan. I thought about this game alone. Um, got off to a horrible start. Turnovers all day. Jake Locker looked bad. We couldn't run the football. It was uh, it was just not a good performance whatsoever. They got some early points, and that was the difference in the game. Really, they got up to a thirteen nothing lead. Um, Jake Locker got hurt. Ryan Fitzpatrick came in. Got to remember if. Uh, we don't fumble that handoff, and that, that Jake, Locker, Jake Locker got hurt on. We either score a touchdown or we kick a field goal, which could have been the difference in the game there. We would have won by one if we kicked the field goal. But um, just couldn't get anything going. The run game was not good. We couldn't throw the football, turn the ball over too much. Um, yeah, Ryan Fitzpatrick came in and looked pretty good through the football around. But, I mean, as long as you throw turnovers, it, nothing matters. It, it does not matter. I just am not, not uh, confident in this team whatsoever. We find the stop finally. We, get, we find a way to get the stop and go down the field and kick a field goal to take the lead and win the game. And then Ryan Fitzpatrick craps the bed. Doesn't matter how he does up to that point, he craps the bed and game over. We lose. That just, just bad, bad. I mean, the fact that we out, we we really did out. Aside from the first quarter, we outplayed the Jaguars like it's nothing. We completely dominated the game, but, I mean, turnovers, that's all that matters. Turn the ball over, you're going to lose. Three fumbles, a pick, and just an absolute pathetic performance. And, uh, I mean, listen to these stats from the Jacksonville Jaguars. 214 total yards, 3-12 of 12 on third down, um, 3.8 yards per play, 160 passing yards, 54 rushing yards, and we still find a way to lose the game. That's just pathetic. <laughs> Absolutely pathetic. Chris Johnson couldn't get anything going either. He was 12 carries for 30 yards, 83 total uh, yards rushing. Um, we held Maurice Jones Drew in check, 41 yards, but we just couldn't do anything. Fumble screwed us up, and it was pathetic. And I really, really am not a fan of Mike Munchak, and really hope this is the the, the final straw and finally getting him fired. So that's it. It was pathetic performance. Uh, I was I was thinking about not even coming on here and making a video because I was so mad, but I got to. I got to uh, stay consistent. But anyways, this is so disappointing and um, it's really embarrassing to say you two out of the last three years you were the Jacksonville Jaguars' first win on the football season. That's horrible. Absolutely horrible. So um, let me know what you think about this game or thought about this game in the comment section below. And let me know about uh, let me know what you think about the uh, everything I was saying about my if you think Mike Munchak should be fired if you think we should should move on from Jake Locker. Uh, I mean I know people can disagree. I mean everybody has an opinion, so that's I'm I'm um, open to hearing them. So comment below like I said, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and uh, leave a like if you haven't. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com/s3rtr. And have a great day, guys. Roll Tide. Go Sox. And still, go Titans to you. Have a great week. See you next time.